how to buy Bitcoin easily. The difference between Coinbase, Coinbase Pro and Cash App. Starting with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is tough. Everyone is telling you what to buy, where to sign up and so on. It's definitely not easy as a new beginner in this space. With all this new technology thrown at you, being scared of scammers trying to help you, or the various get rich quick schemes, it's easy to be overwhelmed at the beginning. And I remember how it was when I started buying my first cryptocurrency in 2015. I know this sounds as if I were exaggerating, but I would triple check each address before sending and each transaction felt like a complex operation. Now with so many different ways to buy Bitcoin, I want to share with you three quick and easy ways where you can buy Bitcoin from and highlight the main differences between these uh, applications. So we've got Coinbase, Coinbase Pro and Cash App. This will hopefully help you make your decision easier in choosing which platform to use. In order not to appear biased or for full disclosure, this video is neither sponsored nor are there any affiliate links in the description. Let's get started and let's jump into it. All these companies are insured and very easy to set up and verify with an easy to use design and interface. Due to its simplicity, Cash App is a little easier to use out of the free and all these methods require AMN and KYC verification. So about the Cash App delays this verification until you want to withdraw the BTC. Coinbase.com. So the pros is easy to use and Coinbase Pro it allows you to lock in a price, but you have to wait around one week for your Bitcoin to be released, which might be helpful for a bull market, but you might want to use your BTC right away. So it might not be for you. The cons, Coinbase has upset some of the Bitcoin community for supporting some scams and insider trading. There's a one week delay on withdrawing Bitcoin. You might not like that. It's more complex to use than Cash App. It's got high fees with 1.49% bank transfer and 3.9% debit card fees. It overcharges on withdrawal. Um, the fees are for that and for on-chain transactions, there's also fees. Pro.coinbase.com. So the pros, it's got the lowest uh, fees of the free when you do a limit order, you've got 0.5%. Unlike Coinbase, it pays for the on-chain withdrawal fee and there's around one week delay, um, two days if you use um, uh, SEPA and you're in the EU. Like the cons, um, basically the same kinds as with Coinbase. Um, you've got one week delay, two days with SEPA if you're in the EU. And when you deposit money onto the Coinbase Pro app, you cannot lock in the price. You can only start buying as soon as the money is on uh, the website. Cash app. Um, pros is easiest to use uh, between the three. It's got the best alignment with Bitcoin. Allows you to align, um, lock in the price immediately. That's pretty good. And you can withdraw also quite fast, much faster than with Coinbase or Coinbase Pro. Um, the cons are well, basically geographically, it's only available in the US and they state that they have no fees, but that's not really true. Basically what they have is got a higher spread and this spread is around 1.6% more than uh, on other uh, or on basically the normal BTC price. And this 1.6% is around 1.45% uh, more than on Coinbase Pro. And for the Coinbase uh, website or app, when you buy, you pay around 1.49%. This makes the Cash app the most expensive of these three options. But if you want to have your Bitcoin as fast as possible and be able to use it and send it, maybe um, the Cash App might be the best option for you, especially if you want to just wait your feet, uh, start buying a little bit of Bitcoin, maybe $20, $25 or so of Bitcoin to learn how to send Bitcoin to other wallets, send it to your friends and so on. Just learn a bit more about the technology, then Cash App might be the best option for you just to get your feet wet and so on. So with uh, if you're buying lower amounts, it doesn't really matter if it's like 1.6% or 1.5%. Uh, these um, fees matter a lot more when you're buying higher amounts. So maybe a whole Bitcoin or even, even a half of Bitcoin makes a bit of a difference when you uh, compare the fees. So 
that was a comparison between these three options of buying. Um, there are many tutorials around uh, to, that show you how you can use the Cash App, how you can use Coinbase and so on. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you've got any questions, then don't hesitate to leave them down in the comments below. If you've got any questions about um, cryptocurrency, about exchanges, how to buy, how to sell, and so on, I'll try and answer each and every one of your questions uh, as soon as possible. So without further ado, I wish you a great day, great evening, wherever you are, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.